You're listening to the QuickBook Reviews podcast. Brighten your day with a book. Hello, my fellow bookworms. This is Philippa from QuickBook Reviews, author interviews and book reviews. Welcome to Friday and my stomach growling. I'm hungry again. Anyway, I've got two brilliant books to tell you about. You've got five questions in five minutes. It's a short episode today. The first book is Goddesses by Nina Milnes and then it's going to be Hokey Pokey by Kate Mascarenas. Let me dive straight into Goddesses by Nina Milnes and read you the blurb of this book. Aisha and Yaz are working the stand-up circuit, clawing their way to success one set at a time. When Aisha inadvertently goes viral, her trajectory changes as she's welcomed into an exclusive group of activists, a sacred circle of change makers, each woman with a specific gift to contribute. The circle draws Yaz in too, and they are both invited to an intimate Hindu, except it's not a Hindu, it's a goddess retreat. While Aisha tries desperately to fit herself into a shape that the women will accept, Yaz treats the entire itinerary with open disdain. But the goddess retreat is no laughing matter and they'll need to stick together if they want to get out alive. Wow, what a book. Let's talk to Nina now and hear her answer her five questions in five minutes. Well, it is my huge pleasure to welcome back to the podcast Nina Milnes, who's great book is called Goddesses. Nina, welcome back. Thank you, Philippa. It's lovely to talk to you again. It's great to talk to you. You've got five questions in five minutes. Are you ready for this? Can you summarise this book for us? Yes. So Goddesses is about two women, Aisha and Yaz, who are comedians on the comedy circuit. And one of Aisha's rants at a heckler goes viral and she gets drawn into this elite group of female activists. And then they get invited to one of the Hindus of these women, except you can't call it a Hindu. It's a goddess retreat in a mansion in the middle of nowhere. And it gets weirder and weirder until the two women find themselves running for their lives. Da, da, da. Great stuff. OK, so who would this book appeal to? Who should be reading this book? Oh, I think it's a mix of comedy and thriller. And it's definitely about the darker side of female friendship as well. So I think anybody who's interested in that. I think also, I think it just appeals to people who are interested in an alternative point of view. You know, these are women who who see the world from a different perspective. And I think hopefully it would create fresh conversations about feminism and friendship and the comedy scene and the Me Too movement. And yeah, Hindus as well. There you go. That's a great answer. You get a gold star for that answer, Nina. Okay, your next question. What do you want us to feel? As we're reading this book. Mm. I would, well, the, the feedback that I've got that really surprised me, and this is something that I wouldn't choose, but I just want to throw that in there, is that people have felt deeply uncomfortable at times reading parts of the book, which I love. And I would add to that that I'd like people to feel quite raw in places. I'd like them to laugh. I hope they feel entertained. But I hope that they end the book feeling galvanised. Mm. Yes, I agree. Laugh, love, but also learn as we read it. Exactly. So if you were to give us your favourite major and your favourite minor characters, who would they be and why? Oh, I love this. So I love Yaz. Yaz is Aisha's best friend. She is the voice of reason. She's the one who's just not impressed by this elite group of women. She speaks truth to power a lot. And she also tries to reason with Aisha to, yeah, not not much, without much success, let's say. So Yaz, I love. And I think my favourite minor character is probably Clemmy, who was lots of fun to write <laughs> and has got some great cringy one-liners. And yeah, it's just a bit of a hilarious cliche in a lot of ways, I think. <laughs> no, that's great. Well, your last question is about what drink 
was powering the writing of goddesses when we talked last time about biscuits you admitted that you're more a smelly crisp kind of person if that's a label i can put on someone and get away with it but also you gave an honorable mention to tim tams what's your drink of choice what drink was powering the words I mean, it is just coffee. Coffee, <laughs> not too much though. I'm really trying to keep to one a day. Otherwise I get really jittery and weird. I often get laughed at because I tend to have three cups and glasses on the go at one time. So I'll have a smoothie if I'm trying to be good, you know, to counteract all the crisps and biscuits. I'll have a, a herbal tea and then I'll have a coffee all going at the same time. So it's a bit of a weird one. <laughs> no, I'm with you. I like to have a variety of drinks at my disposal. So when you're having your coffee, how are you taking that? Is it black? Is it milk? What's your preferred? Two sugars, oat milk, cappuccino, extra hot. There we go. And that's that. Fantastic. Well, it's just great to hear more about your brilliant book, Goddesses. Nina Milnes, thank you so much. Thank you. Excellent. Now let's go on to Hokey Pokey by Kate Mascarenas. And let me read you the blurb of this brilliant book. OK, here we go. February 1929. The Regent Hotel in Birmingham is a place of deception and glamour. Behind its six storied facade, get sip absinthe cocktails on velvet banquets while the staff navigate the hotel's labyrinthine service passageways to ensure they are always at hand. In the early evening, psychoanalyst Nora Dickinson checks in under a false name. It's unlike Nora to deceive. Her aversion to lying borders on the pathological, but she's travelling with an agenda. Having shadowed the famous opera singer Berenice Oxbow from Zurich, she's determined not to lose sight of her now when a terrible snowstorm isolates the hotel and its guests from the outside world, reality appears to shift. Nora's grip loosens and the nightmares she's worked hard to control begin to bare their teeth. Oh, wow. Let's go and talk to Kate now. Well, it is my huge pleasure to welcome back to the podcast Kate Mascarenas about her brilliant book, Hokey Pokey. Kate, welcome back to the podcast. Hi, Philippa. It's good to be back. It's great to have you back again. And you have five questions in five minutes. No pressure. Are you ready for this, Kate? Yeah. <laughs> Your first question. Can you summarise this book for us? Yeah, it's a horror story combined with a golden age crime set in 1929. And it starts off with a psychoanalyst called Nora following a very famous opera singer for mysterious reasons. They get caught up in a snowstorm in a hotel. And while they're cut off, guests start going missing. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So the next question is, who would this book appeal to? Who would read and enjoy it? I think people who like gothic horror, people who like maybe traditional vampire stories, things like Sheridan Le Fanu, you know, the, the story of Camilla, or even Dracula. People who like 1920s art deco aesthetics there's lots of luxurious detail in the hotel that they're staying and and just people who like a good scare i think people who you know who enjoy a kind of encounter with a monster in in sort of a very safe setting <laughs> <laughs> your third question what do you want us to feel as we are reading this book i think pleasurably unsettled it, it is <laughs> And, and actually, I did, while I was writing it, I did I did want to scare people a little bit. My second book had been much, much warmer, for, you know, relatively for, for me. It was a family sort of story, a family drama that involved doll makers. And I tend to react to what I wrote last. And with this, when I sat down, I thought, okay, how, what, how do I actually go about frightening somebody? Like, what's the creative, how do I, how do I actually work out how you write a scary story? So, yeah, ideally, people would be frightened. <laughs> So is your next book planning to be the lightest of light with people, you know, skipping in clouds? Do you know, I haven't actually, I haven't settled on, I've got it noodling around with a few different ideas, but they're still in the really early stages. And I always feel like I'm, I'm a bit worried about sharing them this early on because it's like they're a skittish deer that might just run away. If I, <laughs> and we if don't I want that. Too hard. <laughs> yes, OK, well, we won't mention the next book. Your next question, can we have your favourite major and your favourite minor character in Hokey Pokey? Oh, that's a good question. So, my favourite my favorite major character, 
I think is probably Nora's mother. She makes a very big impression. <laughs> she was great fun to write. <laughs> and yeah, she's she's quite an extreme person. You know, I, I, I can't imagine that anybody would read her and not have a strong reaction one way or the other. So she's she's my favourite major character. And my favourite minor character, possibly Malini, who is, is he's the opera singer's duetting partner, really. And he's quite sort of, he's quite blunt. And, you know, he's sort of, he's quite sort of straightforward in his likes, you know. He's, he's a bit wine, woman and song, really. <laughs> but he's very fun to write in a different way. He's, he's much more straightforward than, say, Nora's mother. <laughs> I love that. Two really interesting characters to compare. Well, we come to the final question. Now, when we last talked, the question about biscuits, of course, came up. And your answer to that was the delightful and delicious baklava. Now, what drink was powering the writing of Hokey Pokey? I actually really like a classic martini. Uh, Not that I was swilling these all the way through. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um, okay. but in terms of much in much in the in the way of you know I use my baklava as a reward. You know I might have a martini when I'd finished a draft, and that would be like a, a treat for me. And uh, there's a section in the book actually that focuses on the barman making the cocktails in the hotel and and the whole process of him coming up with recipes and and naming them. So you know it feels very sort of tied in to the story. And hokey pokey is the name of a cocktail within the book. That's what the what the title partly refers to. Fantastic. Well, it's just great to talk to you again about Hokey Pokey and to hear more about the book. Kate Mascarenas, thank you so much. Thank you. Fantastic. So those are your two books. We have had Goddesses by Nina Milnes and Hokey Pokey by Kate Mascarenas. Those are your two books. I'll be back on Monday with more Waffle with a longer episode. I hope you have a great weekend. Just look after yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the Quick Book Reviews podcast. That's enough books, said no one, ever. See you again soon.